Your heart works hard to pump blood all around the body since you were in the womb right up until you die. Today, we're going to look at how this amazing muscle works. A great way to improve your understanding and boost your grades is with my study along workbooks. These are specifically made to use alongside my videos and contain loads of tasks and exam questions. By downloading them, you support me in continuing to make these videos. Get yours now from emmatheteachy.com. The heart is an organ that pumps blood around the body in a double circulatory system. This means that each side of the heart pumps the blood to a different place. The right side of the heart has deoxygenated blood, so it needs to pump the blood to the lungs. And up here, you can see the capillary network of the lungs. This is where gas exchange takes place, providing the blood with oxygen. The oxygenated blood then returns to the left side of the heart, which pumps this blood to the rest of the body. And down here, you can see the capillary network of the rest of the body. In the capillaries, oxygen can diffuse out of the blood and into the body's cells, where it's used for respiration. Carbon dioxide is produced, and this will get transported up to the right side of the heart to be taken to the lungs. The double circulatory system works really well as it means the oxygenated blood is pumped separately and so it's sent under a really high pressure so it can reach all parts of the body. Now let's look at the structure of the heart. You'll notice that it says right side over here on the left side of the diagram and it says left side on the right side of the diagram. When we look at a diagram of the heart, the sides are flipped. This is because it's labelled as though it's facing you. The heart has four chambers. The top two chambers are called atria, so we've got the right atrium and the left atrium. And the bottom chambers are called the ventricles, so we've got the right ventricle and the left ventricle. My tip to remember which way round the chambers are is that the bottom chambers look a little bit like a V for ventricle, and then the top chambers you just need to remember are the atria. The blood comes from the body and it enters the heart through a vein called the vena cava. You can remember this by V for vein is V for vena cava. Remember, veins always bring blood back to the heart. The blood then travels down through the right atrium into the right ventricle, where it gets pumped out through an artery called the pulmonary artery. Remember, arteries take blood away, and in this case, they're taking it to the lungs. Gas exchange takes place there, and the oxygenated blood returns to the heart by the pulmonary vein. Pulmonary just means that it's relating to the lungs. The blood then travels down through the left atrium and the left ventricle before getting pumped out of the heart and through the aorta. The aorta is a major artery and it takes the blood to the rest of the body. One way to remember this blood vessel is that it's A for artery and A for aorta. Now down here, you'll notice that the left side of the heart has got thicker muscle tissue than the right side. This allows it to pump the blood under a higher pressure to make sure that it gets to all the parts of the body that it needs to. The last thing to note is that we've got some special cells here in the right atrium. These cells are called the natural pacemaker cells of the heart. They release an electrical signal that causes the heart to contract, and this then pumps the blood out of it. These control the resting heart rate of the heart, also known as your pulse. Let's test what you've learned. Pause the video and try these quick questions, and then when you're finished, just press play and we'll go over the answers. Number one, spot any mistakes in this flowchart showing the journey of the blood. So we've got the aorta going to the right atrium, then the right ventricle, and finally the pulmonary vein. So let's look at the first few steps. It says that the aorta travels into the right atrium. Well, this isn't correct. You can see that it's deoxygenated blood coming back to the heart, and that is via the vena cava, that vein. The right atrium does come next, and so does the right ventricle. But then it says pulmonary vein. That's wrong. It needs to be the pulmonary artery, because remember, arteries take blood away from the heart, so it can't be a vein. Two, describe the function of pacemaker cells. 
Well, they control the resting heart rate by releasing electrical signals that cause the heart to contract. 3. Draw an arrow on the heart diagram to show where the pacemaker cells are located. These are up here in the right atrium. Okay, how did you do on the questions? The heart can be damaged by diseases like coronary heart disease. Click here to learn more about it. And please don't forget to subscribe for more GCSE science help. Thanks and bye.